Hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the monthly one tournament for June from SD League. It's really, really warm where I am, so I'm hoping to get through this in one sitting, assuming I don't melt in the meantime. So we're going to have two games with Z2 and Black Bear from the freshman side of the tournaments today. Z2 I've definitely seen play before. Black Bear, the name is not familiar, so please excuse me. Uh, Black Bear is over on the left in blue playing as the 8th Infantry, and on the right we've got Z2 playing as the 35th. Z2 getting in here early. Obviously those forward deployment troops are really helping with that. Black Bear is going to be sending in a lot of forces but arriving a little bit late. Good chance he's going to get some of these units in there though because there's quite a lot. He may deploy before he gets in there. A couple of M60s coming out for that as well. A little spread up here more defensively than anything else. Just seeing what's happening here. One unit destroyed. Ooh. He has deployed. Good. D44 cannon. Again, it's not something we see very often, but there you go. D44 cannon now early in defense. Fortunately, Black Bear caught a little bit out in the open here. Just have some engineers coming in around the back. Z2 in good control of the center here. Up at the top, definitely Black Bear going to have this point. A little bit of fire coming down from, again, another D44 cannon. Just really something you don't see very often. And my 24 rocker coming in at the back there. Engineers trying to push across the field here. These are as Vedka almost dead. They are running now. Z2 trying to keep them alive. The rocket is coming in, and there's no anti air left. Unfortunately, the two stingers were killed. So that rocket attack chopper will do some serious damage here, I think. Zooming in for a close look. There it goes. Yeah, laying down the pain on the infantry. Quick target switch, just stunning them down. Really effective. Resupply coming in to repair those guys. And some more Spetsnaz coming in there. M60 should pose a bit of a threat. Hopefully they can kill that gun. Though... Chopper is still a problem. A couple of snipers coming in at the back there. Good control here for Black Bear though. He has that point. I don't think Z2 will be pushing in there very quickly. Currently it is plus three to Z2 though because he does control the center. And there's obviously very little there for Black Bear. Black Bear should cap that point though. Down here unfortunately the Metas have managed to kill one of the M60s. The... Gun is still in action. Oh, MI-24 gets the kill. Fortunately, units lost here for Black Bear. Not ideal. Muck coming in at the back of that point. So this should shift to plus two for the control of the center. I imagine Black Bear may switch into more of a defensive positioning here because there's quite a lot of units in there. Yeah, it looks like more defensive positioning around this point to stop a push through. More reinforcements still coming in there. Plenty heading towards the center as well. Oh, T-64 command tank coming in at the corner of Foxtrot. Should be reasonably effective at taking control there. Some military police coming in, heading to the center. Some mortars coming in as well here. Could potentially smoke, lay down some pressure on the units in the buildings. A little bit of a skirmish up here. We're mostly in a sort of a build up phase. Some standard military police in there. Obviously, don't pose much of a threat to the vehicles, well, the vehicle and the uh, tank gun. Nice, Bradley gets the tank gun kill with the tow launcher. Oh, infantry under fire there. I was going to say the M60 here should get kills on these vehicles, no problem. Be a bit touch and go with the T64. The closer it is, obviously, the better. It does still have a kinetic weapon. 
see that there. So the closer it is, the more damage it does. That's immediately smoked. Yeah, look at this. The M Oh, Metis launcher moving up hits the M60 in the side. If it gets another hit, oh, does not get the hit. That is a very, very lucky M60. CV coming in at the centre there for a neutralisation. Doesn't Nikki coming in there? Some units coming down the bottom. I feel like monetary wise, not a lot's coming in from Z2 side at the minute. I wonder if he's bought some aircraft or something behind the scenes. Just a couple of maybe not. I mean, these aren't all expensive stuff, you know. Could be just saving some points for when he needs it. Command tank has been reversed all the way into there. A little bit of skirmishing in the middle here. Obviously Z2 pushing out now that there has been that cap there. Wants to keep the points in his direction. There's a lot of units in here as well. I mean the thing is the majority of it's infantry. So rushing it across the open ground isn't ideal. So I don't suspect we'll see a push from here. Another T-64 coming in there, heading towards the center. Z2 consolidating that control of this area. Fortunately, there's Pum military police don't really stand a chance, and the other guys are out of the recallless rifle shots. This one, however, can get some shots off. The MD2 doing a good job here, just clearing out these buildings from a sensible range. Thunderbolt. I wonder when we're going to see some aircraft. Oh, and yeah, there we go. MiG-29 in. Doesn't quite get the kill there. Surprise. Oh, it does go down, though. I'm not sure what got the kill on the Thunderbolt. The final blow. Possibly an Igla. Good progress here by Z2. He's bringing in more reinforcements here. But Black Bear is holding steadfast. A lot of military police coming in. They're nice and cheap military police at only 15 points each. The issue is they don't have any anti-tank. So they're going to be helpful against infantry. But not so much against these BMD2s. And the military police themselves, with the recallless rifle, are out of ammo. CV coming in around the back here. Again, good against infantry. There is an M60 back here, though. Could be brought in to help deal with these BMDs. Stinger here caught a little bit further forward towards these units. Probably going to get engaged. Mech rifle's moving up here with the Dragon 2. No movement down at the bottom, but that rocket attack chopper with the cock-on missiles is also moving up here. I call it a rocket attack. It's got rocket after it, but actually it's anti-tank as well. Really good push here by Z2. Really putting the pressure on Black Bear. Y24 struggling to find their target. Stingers in there will pose a threat to that if they can get it in range and get a shot off. Ouch. Rocket attack choppers just devastating for infantry. They're very accurate in this game. I think Black Bear's in trouble in the middle here and I'm wondering if there's anywhere else he could make a push. He has brought in an Abrams down here. Along with the mortars. 
But I think getting in here with all that infantry will be difficult. Potential to push through here. If you can clear those, you could probably get into that back point. But he doesn't know this. We have the beauty of hindsight being able to see the entire map. It's so hard when you're playing the game to judge where it's going to be safe to push. Recon all the way back here for Z2. I did see that trundling away earlier, but I didn't think it had made it through, but it has. Command being pulled all the way back here. Most of the force is dead. There is a T-64 here as well. Badly damaged, but there nonetheless. Command tank coming in as well. I suspect this will be moved here and then moved into that back point. Which will be another plus two. Obviously still neutralized at the moment. But I think overall in this game it feels like... Poor Black Bear has lost quite a lot of units. A little bit of pressure coming here from Black Bear on this point. Does have plenty of metas in here though defending, so they'll be fairly effective against the M60. Less effective against the M1A1 front armor. Z2 has taken control of the center again. Unfortunately, the command was lost in the process. And here's a command coming in for Z2 as well, straight to that back point. This is uh, plus four. Will be plus six momentarily for Z2. Defensive units being called in here. But I think Black Bear's in a bit of trouble now unless he can make a push. Lots of smoke going down here. Spetsnaz, Rezvedka. Okay, let's say, in fairness, there's one, two, three, four, five proper squads of infantry, and then you've got two Igglers in there. And there are plenty of mech rifles here. All these units are deployed early. This command is going... Oh, that's cheeky. Very cheeky. Fast moving around the back to Cap Hotel as well. That'll put it up to initially plus eight. And then all the way up to plus ten. Although this command should take this back. And it will, well, temporarily neutralize it. Um, which may think... Which may make Z2 reconsider. Interestingly, he didn't. He kept it going. He just brought the command tank in. I thought that was a possibility. Back to plus six. We'll be plus eight then. Seed in there. Fighting Falcon in there as well. MiG-29 comes in to contest. SG-25 anti-tank is in as well. I assume that's being kept in to try and snipe the command in here. CV coming in from the bottom here. Heading towards the front. Command fly. SC-25 coming in for that command. Most certainly. Recon being sent over there to find it. Not quite in range yet. Getting close. Oh, IHOC gets a good hit on that SG-25, takes it down. That command not going to go down so easily now. Still quite a lot of units here that can be pushed towards it, though.
And there's the surrender. Commiserations, Black Bear. That was hard fought. I think losing those units at the start, that other point, just made it difficult then because you'd lost a lot of units. About double the kills to losses there. Let's have a look. I'm curious what got the final blow on the A10. It was an Igla. It was an Igla. That, yeah, that cannon did really well defensively at the start. I'm quite impressed by that cannon. You don't see them brought out very much. BMZ2 did a good job as well. And on the other side, the Rangers were doing pretty well there. Rangers do tend to be pretty good units. Let's hop straight into game number two. Welcome back to game number two with Z2 and Black Bear. Black Bear over on the left, once more in blue, playing as the 8th Infantry Division, once again. And then over on the right, we got Z2 playing as the Territorial Commando, Sud in red. Green Berets pushing up nice and early here, obviously. Green Berets having those forward deployment traits. AMX 10 RCs pushing in at the top here. Gazelle cannons and a hot being used to stave off some of the infantry here, perhaps. Though the Jaeger Avkul are going to get in there pretty quickly. Fighting Falcon coming in for those choppers. Gets a kill on one, does some serious damage to another. That's the recon chopper down. Jaeger Avkul have arrived. Roland 2 in the back there, but F16 manages to dodge. Command coming straight in for this point. Command also coming in here. CEV coming in. What else is coming in at the back there? Just some engineers flash. And the chopper has gone down. Fighting Falcons coming in for another kill here on that gazelle cannon. Yes, and it's down. Gets a kill on the Alpha Jet as well. Not quite. Roland 2 engaging on that Falcon. Falcon not taking a hit. Now it has. Will now evac. Alpha Jet is also evacing. Good little skirmish at the start here. Down at the bottom. Not a lot happening at the top though. AMX 10s causing issues, as always, down here. CEV not in a good position to deal with those. They will make short work of it. I mean, you know, they're, they're so good, the AMX 10s. They should cost more than that. They're like a stealth tank. They're so strong. Military police here taking a lot of fire. Certainly going to get overwhelmed, but plenty of units still back here for Black Bear. But the top here, AMX-10 has smoked itself. Engineers flash. Taking a bit of fire as they came in there, but otherwise should make it in. But military police here, routed. Sadly, running out in the open, taking a lot of fire. M60's being called in to assist. Aeromobile's coming in there with Super Pumas. Cannon Jagdpans is coming in as well. Good units for defensive harassment. Just lining up behind buildings and things, hitting enemy units. AMX-10 still just being a nuisance down the bottom there, getting plenty of shots off on these infantry. Those Pua Flash already badly damaged. Apologies if you can hear a bird in the background. My window is open because of how hot it is. But I will check that in editing, so. The wrong two coming in for the top there. Just a bit of a defensive wall, I think, for both players up there. Command is finally coming in there for Black Bear, though. So it is currently plus six to Black Bear. I've just realized there are no commands in at the back for Z2. I'm really surprised he didn't... He's just called another one in there, but early point advantage to Black Bear. But there is commands coming in now for those back points. I guess this one will trundle through Foxtrot and then go into Delta as well. But plus eight right now for Black Bear. Military police coming in down here. They're really not bad units. They're just small squads. I mean, Yak Panzer's really doing a lot of damage here to those infantry. As I say, they're good for just pummeling buildings and infantry out in the open or tree lines. No good up close, because they'll take a lot of damage. But 
up close against other vehicles, very good. Because obviously their penetration goes up. M48's coming in. Seen plenty of those in recent games. There was a time when the M48s and the T55s were just excelling. It's been a while since we've seen that. Obviously tanks in general doing pretty well right now. Especially the bigger, heavier tanks. AMX 10s here. You see, it's the, these tank cannons and their ability to just lay down so much firepower against the infantry and stun lock them down right now. I mean, the AMX, as we've discussed, technically isn't a tank, but, you know, it's got a tank gun. M60 is coming in here. AMX is engaging on those tanks. Oh. Mirage comes in and gets the kill on that chopper. Z2 looking in a slightly stronger position just in terms of the units available still down here. More reinforcements obviously on the way. More Cannon Jagdpanzers. He's going to do a push across here eventually with those Cannon Jagdpanzers, I think. Command in here. Everything now neutralized. So it's about whether one player can push the other out the bottom here in particular. Potential for that to happen at the top as well, but I don't think either player has a sizable pushing force. The AMX 10s down here and the Milan vehicles are going to stop a big push from that side. And equally pushing from this side, you know, the Bradley and the tank there are going to stop most units getting across the open field unless you start bringing in big heavy tanks. Down here, this is where all the main fighting is going on. Cluster Bomber coming in for all of these Cannon Jagdpanzers and the M60. A lot of stunning, but not a lot of damage. Abrams is in play now. That's exactly what I think Black Bear needs. A heavy hitter to deal with these units. At least one AMX-10 is finally dead. The other one has pulled back. Cannon Jagdpanzers is still managing to fire at these military police. Abrams, however, trundling along here, coming in round this way. My main concern is currently it's side on, so if anything gets a lucky hit on it. Those military police with the M67 that were uh, running away are now running back. They were being shot up by the Cannon Yao Panzers, but uh, they've moved on. Green Berries waiting in this building. AMX-10 still getting good shots off. More military police being called in there. Still the odd unit being called in at the centre. Another command coming in here. What's Z2 up to? I assume he's going to try and push the top. Because I don't see why else he would bring a command in at the top. Unless he was thinking he might lose that one. I mean, it's an expensive thing to just bring in willy-nilly. Usually you have a reason for it. Our mobile's being called in to be deployed at the back here in this forest. Plenty of reinforcements coming in here. AMX pushing up with those kind of Jagdpanzers. They're not going to be super close to that Abrams, but their damage will be increased because they're closer. It has moved out of dodge. Can they still see that? Surely not. No. M60 taking shots at them. Gazelle Cannon absolutely laying waste to that area. What on earth was that? Now I can't decide if that Gazelle Cannon was actually aiming at that vehicle or just attacking ground, but I'm genuinely surprised how much damage it did. Wow. That was unexpected. It just seemed to be attacking the area, but... It did a lot of damage. HE Bomber coming in there. I don't think it actually dropped anything. I think it took fire from the PIVADs. Cluster Bomber coming in here. Dropping on... Dropping very close to that tank. That is a very lucky Abrams. I'm surprised it was visible back there. Gazelle Hot moving in now.
Because Hell Cannon's not doing a bad job at all. Abram's taking fire from the hot two. Oh, that is a nasty hit. M48 engaging on it now. It does smoke, but it is dead. The M48 managed to get a shot off as the smoke was deployed. Poor Abrams. That was taking punishment from everywhere. Z2 really wanted that dead. Command is actually sat in the back point. I guess in case something got snuck around the back. Poor Black Bear looking a bit thin on the ground on the bottom here again. Is trying to push into these buildings, has made it, but with some very badly damaged units. And there are some pretty fresh units here for Z2. So I don't think Black Bear is going to fare too well up at the top. A few more units have come in for Black Bear, but I'm not sure if it's enough to do a push. Buster Bomber coming in, going for the Pivads at the back there, which is almost dead anyway. 48 is engaging on it. Should get the kill on the Pivads. Pivads does do a bit of damage to the jet. Chaparral out of missiles. All these Kalen Yagpans as the M48s and the MX-10 pushing up now. Engaging close range at this infantry. I mean, the infantry doesn't stand a chance right now in the game. Especially with four tanks firing at it. It's just a stun lock city. The Shrung's pushing in here. Not something you see very often these days, but, you know, a little bit of extra firepower. Kenny Yagpans is doing a good job at pushing Black Bear back here. Ah, oh, actually pulling back from that. Ah, uh, Abrams has turned up. Really good choice. Obviously, these things don't necessarily stand a good chance against the Abrams. Another Abrams called in as well. These are probably the biggest threat. There is a Milan 2 in now, though, so there's going to be plenty of damage dished out to these things. Smoke goes down for it. Gazelle Cannon pushing around the side here. It is a recon chopper. Another Milan 2 coming in. Z2 really wants to deal with these Abrams. They do pose the biggest threat, I guess. Falcon coming in, going for that Chinook. Green Barrier's leader being pushed around there. I assume that was going for the back point, perhaps? I think it still is going. It is still going for the back point. I'm surprised it's uh, still going that way. I expect another jet to potentially come in for it. Unless Black Bear didn't spot his jet firing at it. The Gazelle Cannon and Hot coming in. Black Bear hanging on in here, and he's still got the advantage in points. The reality is, all he needs to do is hang on in there. Chinook taking some fire, but obviously the Chinook has quite a lot of health. You've really got to slam it pretty hard to kill it. You almost want an A10 or something that's going to go slower, so it can really, like, pummel it. But I think this is going to make it in the point as things stand at the minute, unless there's a good shot here. Now it's going to get to the point. It's not enough firepower from the Fighting Falcon. If it's going that fast, it doesn't get long to shoot. Bunch of HE bombers coming in here for Z2. Hitting those infantry moving across the open ground. It's a lot of damage. Green Barrier's leader do get the drop. And will take the back point. Pioneer Falcon was trying hard there, though I suspect the Green Barrier's leader would have survived the drop anyway. Fighting Falcon should get out alive. There we go. Green Barrier leader, yeah. I mean, they're a huge 12-man squad. Even if you take the Chinook down, they're going to survive, and they're still going to land. Plus six currently to Z2. I'm sure a counter command will be called in there. The Green Barrier's leader obviously can take care of themselves, though. They do have anti tank. Oh, Z2, that's mean. Coming back around the top here into this back point as well. Another Green Barrier leader. Totally killable. 
totally killable. Just means it's a case of needing to bring in more commands for Black Bear. This command here is still alive, though with a low cohesion. Yeah, Engineer's Flash being called in here to deal with these. Green Barrier Leader taking fire. Oh, he's hitting the building, I think, rather than the actual infantry who have moved back. Plus 12 right now. To Z2, he is ticking up those points rapidly. He will easily catch up to Black Bear. Black Bear does have a command coming in, though. CV moving up. Should make short work of those infantry now. Can actually see where they are. They are routed. As long as he keeps the pressure on, he will get the kill. HE Bomber's coming in again here. Just pummeling the back there. The Abrams absolutely getting minced by all those Milans. All those bombers coming in. Another cluster bomber coming in. Going for the Abrams, which is retreating. Does get the kill. Other Abrams goes down as well. That is a nasty couple of losses there. Obviously, Z2 working hard to focus those down. This command back in the control of Black Bear, but obviously a big advantage in points given to Z2 there, which he will be very happy with. Anti-tank coming in here, going for the Chaparral, which is being moved, thankfully. But yeah, that's, you know, plus six still. I think that uh, Z2 will slightly overtake Black Bear here. A-10 still manages to get a kill, even if it's not what he wanted to get. Chaparral being shot by all these kind of Jagdpanzers. Oh! AT does go down. More M48s coming in down here. I mean, we can see that Z2 is pushing now. He has killed that command. It's back to plus eight. There are... Points have been overtaken. Command is moving in here. The Flash are moving in. The Flash should kill the Green Barrier leader. But obviously it's given a big advantage in points to Z2, which is what he needed. Black Bear sort of on the back foot now because he's lacking the control of this bottom point. If he even had half of it or a corner, it would help. Loads of bombs being dropped on this corner now. Z2 going for area suppression with all of these aircraft he's bought. Cluster coming in as well. Just aiming at the back here. They aim to kill any retreating stuff. Does get its bombs off as it goes down. Just knocking any kills though. Green berries should go down. Fighting Falcon still coming in here. Obviously not ideal. It has taken fire. More Milan 2's coming in here. Oh, a Milan 2 and a BGS. Fighting Falcon coming in as well. Z2 did manage to get a little bit of a push down here, but uh, didn't get too far. Gazelle Cannon coming in here, taking out these military police. Abrams coming in again. Do pose the biggest threat to all these little tanks. Milan 2 will be a problem though. Though a couple of Abrams should be able to deal with this mess, if it can see them. I hope coming in here. Still plus two to Z2. 
Just over the halfway mark now of the game. Yeah, Alfkull unfortunately have been spotted at the back here. Anti-tank coming in, going for that Abrams. Targeting where it was rather than on it. Abrams does survive. H.E. Bomber coming in, going for that Milan too. Marked by Black Bear. That is a hell of a carpet bombing going in with the F-111F. Nice strike, definitely gets the kill. Itchy Bomber coming in here. Again, Hinchy Bomber's being used just to lay waste to an area. Going for the back here as well. Did I get the kill on the command? <sighs> they do not. That was close. Z2 with a sizable lead in points now. Really, it's whether Black Bear can push. I mean, that command is kind of on its own. There's only a few squads of infantry. It's all of this down here that's the problem. My team 84 is coming in at the back there. Good force build up here for uh, Black Bear. He's got those two Abrams. He's got some anti air. Some infantry coming in. It's difficult. There's a lot of open terrain here. Getting through is a challenge. Still getting that weird bug look. Where the vehicles are flashing. I think that's if they've been selected when they die. It's staying flashing. Can kind of Jagdpanzer and an M60 going to finish off this Jäger Alfgold? No, they're not flashing to be fair. Jäger Alfgold up here. Still alive and kicking. Oh, AMX-10 and Milan's have been moved up to try and deal with these vehicles. AMX-10 taking fire. Dishing it out as well, though. Other AMX-10 is joining in. M60 misses its shot. Smokes, retreats. Ichi Bomber came in again. Looks to have tried to hit the Jäger Alfkull. Not entirely sure. Jäger Alfkull should finish off those BGS there. AMX-10 pushing up quite aggressively here. Another M1A1 coming in for the bottom for this push. Black Bear, I think, knows they need to push. Oh, that might be the command. It is the command dead. Plus four. Back to plus four for Z2. Oh, wow, look at this. The Gazelle Cannon Charge and the Cannon Jagdpanzers and all the M48s. I mean, this is going to just be a charge through the back here. Pivads would be helpful. One is on the way in, but isn't there yet? Two more Pivads called in. They're going to be arriving late to the party, though. These Gazelle Cannons obviously do a lot of damage up close with those Gatling guns. Even to armor, they do have two penetration. Command there, likely about to be caught out. Oh, they're not. They're focus firing on the Stinger. I thought they would go for the command. Falcons coming in to take those out, though. They will be having to deal with plenty of anti-air at the back here. Roland getting some good hits. One's down. Mirage is in as well. Mirage gets the kill, I think, there. I think this could be game... Either points-wise or certainly being overwhelmed at the top here. Look at all these M48s coming in. It's a lot of firepower between all these units. Even with these gazelle cannons now sort of stunned down. Panicked. CV has survived though. Pivads are on the way. Four Pivads, in fact. We'll certainly be able to deal with the Gazelles, but uh, not going to be a huge amount of use against the M48s. Neither will the Flash. A little bit of pushing, I think, from either side here. 
Z2 scouting forward. Here come the HE bombers again to hit this area. Tanks pushing up. Points win for Z2 for game number two. Really hard fought there, guys. And very well done. You defended hard there, Black Bear, getting those points early on and sort of maintaining it for quite a long time. Kills, obviously, a bit of a difference once again. Let's have a look at the units. AMX 10s just doing stupidly well. That HE bomber did pretty good. Cannon Yagpans was doing pretty good. So Cannons did okay. And on the other side, Pivad's got a, quite a few kills at the end there. Ito was doing okay. Falcon got a few kills overall. Difficult for them to kill those choppers. I think, you know, MVP. I think we give it to the bomber there. I think that did a really good job. But thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon for some more Warno.